Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. We are starting this vlog very sunny. It is, I mean, it's a few minus, but it is sunny and very, very spring-like. I mean, we had almost like proper spring for a few days, then winter came back and now we're back to spring and it is lovely if you don't have fibro, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this, in this vlog, in this vlog, <laughs> we are going to do a few different things. We have a few paints to make. Um, we have a few paints to make. We also have, as you saw, uh, a bit of a haul that we are going to use to fix up the office space which I'm very excited about. I have a few, um, ass oh, it says here, assortment cabinets. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I went to, it's a store that says like parts for your car and they, they sell quite a lot of stuff. Uh, it's called Biltema, so car theme. It's a big chain here in Sweden anyway. And yeah, so I picked up a lot of office supplies, but also the sort of, you know, the cabinets where you put all the, the screws and bolts. And I feel like this could be really great for the paint. Now when I've pulled out like the tiniest drawer is this size and it might be too small, but we're going to make the best of it. I feel like it's, it's uh, good. I, something I really want is to have like, a designated space for each color right now they just move around and I feel like it would be really nice to have like this drawer is for Astrid and when that drawer is empty there is no Astrid yeah I think that would be great <laughs> so I got that I got some um, folders and um, you know page protectors labels to print um, print addresses on and all the kind of boring stuff you get so yeah um that is about where we are starting out so we have a a lot of stuff here that of course we need to move because I feel like I want to start off with making the paint because I want to so <laughs> I just, I just want to make the paint, and uh, I think we're going to start off with with Iris, because I I haven't made Iris in a long time, and it's one of my favorites, and it's one of the first. And, you know, anyway, uh, so Iris we need to make. We also need to make Draft of Peace, uh, the second pour for that, and then we just have a lot of colors that have sold out and that needs first pours. So the list is long, and I just need to start. Uh, start doing it you know but I can't make too many paints because then my arms they don't really work so I need to be clever with how I do that so I feel like it's a good thing start off uh, cleaning this space up making the paint and once the paint is done I can start like organizing these cabinets and, and doing that so the office makeover is continuing and Will we be done in this vlog? Probably not. Let's let's be honest. Um, yeah, I just thought it was going to be a quick thing last time and we're still going, so. But you know what? It's fun. It's good to have projects, so. Yeah. Okay, I've been rambling on. Let's uh, kick this into gear. Filled up all of the 
thirst pour and also made a few uh, brand new so these so now what we're going to do is keep a bubble watch so when we see a bubble we need to pop it and you say Julia you're being silly no because when you have done this layer and everything is like all nice and neat and there's a bubble they will form a crater and then you'll need to make a whole new batch mm. well i mean you don't you don't actually need to um but i just really despise the bubbles i mean i try to make the paint a little bit over so even if there is a bubble there's still like you know the same amount of paint is just like over but it just become like a personal vendetta you know a personal thing and that is also the reason why i prefer to make paint in the morning if i can because then i have the whole day usually it sets within a few hours so if i make it late at night i need to go out late at night to pop the bubbles and I realized that is a little bit, a little bit crazy. So I try to make it in the morning and then I check on them a few times and make sure I get all the bubbles. Not every time, because sometimes you make them and you check on them a few hours later, no bubbles. And then like the day after, there they are. Yeah. <gasps> I got one. Okay. I mean, I'm not as concerned about the the first pours. I mean, I will just fill them up, but these I want them to look like all nice because I had like 40 something half pans that were like really nice and they had bubbles. Yeah. And no, I'm not obsessive. I just want them to be good, okay? Okay, I think it's good. We'll come back in a few hours. That was supposed to be like a dramatic ending or I realized that was a little bit silly, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's do these. So I, I think the best thing is to fill these up from all of these and then move it down because it's too heavy. What do you think? Yeah? Oh, good. So now I just need to get it down. Okay, here they are. I mean, it's very low. Oh, Albert is showing off here. Uh, but yeah, so my plan is to put the... You know what, I'm just going to go and get them. Okay, you stay here, kind of like that. Yeah, I think it, I think it will be good. Um, but we need to break for lunch. And someone is definitely not having his best day. Why? I have no idea. No idea. But hormones, boy hormones. And he's not really interested in them. I mean, he wants to be with Dagmar because he thinks he wants to play, but he doesn't want to play. She wants to, you know, make babies and yeah anyway oh yeah we're heading up to my to my little brother's room because i want to use his playstation <laughs> score <laughs> oh and i just have to show you i mean me and my brother we are so 
<laughs> much the same. I mean, I do paper crafting, but my desk looks just like this. And I gave him those. <laughs> so the other day he was like, Julia, because I was heading into town to drop off the orders. Oh, looky here. Can you live there? Okay. And I was like, I'm dropping off the orders in town. Do you need anything? And he was like, yeah. I, I need some sweets. Or something sweet, I think he said. And I was like, you know, there are some, some biscuits. Independently, he was like, no, I need something more. <laughs> like, I need something stronger. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I got him a whole, a whole box of Easter eggs. I try to be a nice big sister. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, I get to borrow this, so. Welcome to another episode of Nature with Julia. Today we have found some tracks here on the field. Albert has a very nice chew toy. Now, can you remember which track this belongs to? Huh? Well, if you answered moose, it was correct. Yeah, we don't, we apparently don't really care. And that was Nature with Julia. Yeah. I need to come up with a little bit more excitement for my new series here on my vlog, Nature with Julia. Um, but you know, we take what we get. This is just a faint memory of the horses we had this summer. I think this is from the, from the big one that we had Goofy, he was a Norwegian uh, cold blood. Yeah, we must have slid here and <laughs> scratched himself. <laughs> yeah. And Albert, we have been playing quite a long time and he's starting to get a little bit tired. So maybe if we go like 10 more minutes, he might just be <laughs> enough for him to be quiet the rest of the day. <laughs> Okay, one last, and then we have some physical, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, exercises for his, for his legs. <laughs> Can you see what I am struggling with? Like this. And we have already had some that popped. Oh gosh. Yeah. Going to use my favorite tool here. It's a it's a nail pick. Oh, we need to clean it. Oops. Okay, we need something else. <laughs> so my sister, she loves this TV show. Pimple Popper. I can't watch it. I have tried. No, I haven't. I just can't. But I think this is the kind of stuff she would love to do. <laughs> so you can see the it's already like a coating on it because it's dried. So mm. So we just need to deflate them. And it's much more satisfying while they're still a bit more wet because then they like float together again. Here they just, they are just on the verge of being good. 
and why they do this well i think it's partly just because they're being mean i would say <laughs> no it's something to do with science okay so i'm going to do this and then i'm going to guard them a bit more and then i will make the last batch of the day and then i will uh pack up so yeah full speed ahead Good morning. It is a new day and we still have sun, which is quite amazing, actually. Uh, I mean, it's still cold and um, my legs are like, we are dying. <laughs> like, yeah, sure you are. Uh, I mean, one day my legs will be dying and I will just ignore them, you know? It's like the legs who always cry wolf, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive, I promise. I, I, I really do try, <sighs> but it doesn't help that I've been feeling pretty crappy lately and uh, a part of that is my own fault because I've missed my medication. I thought, uh, because one of the medications, I thought I wasn't supposed to continue on. But after a few days without it, I was like, I can't, I, I think I need it. So I called my, the doctor office and she was like, yeah, you're not supposed to quit that. And I was like, but I couldn't get more. And she was like, then you call us. And I was like, I did. So, but it took a week for them to write up uh, the new prescription and i mean it's not their fault i mean it was a weekend and then the doctor i have he wasn't there and so i have ordered it it is coming and it's a medication to prevent migraine headaches which is um it's sucky to get them i haven't gotten them yet knock on everything that is wood but i definitely have more headaches so that doesn't help and uh but I'm fixing it. And also, now every week or every day this week, I have woken up because Dagmar is howling. Because she is in season and she wants, you know, hormone stuff. And yeah, and we can't have her with any of it. So Dagmar is in heat, Uni is in heat, but we can't have her with Uni because she won't leave Uni alone. Um, she just terrorizes her and Uni, she's like, she is a lot smaller than Dagmar and she just doesn't stand a chance. And the boys, they don't want to be with Dagmar because, I mean, I think hormonally, like instinct wise, Herman wants to be with her, but he doesn't want to be with her because she's so pushy. So it is a, a very stressful filled situation right now with the dogs uh just having uni and albert together fine i mean she is in heat and he was like i don't really care <laughs> well he did he did and i was like oh crap i can't have them together but then it turns out uni had took uh, had taken albert's ball like not the one like his ball but the one he plays with um the blue one so yeah but once i sorted that out yeah he is like, and I have always heard that poodles are very, uh, very 
have a very strong urge, you know, uh, to make babies. Uh, apparently, Albert doesn't get that notice. He he has no interest whatsoever. So, I mean, it's good for me, but whatever. Um, but yeah. So today, uh, yesterday, we made two paints. We're going to continue making paint, and uh, we are going to make Gredelin because I have decided. So here we have the page, and in my mind, it was between these two. So with the new version, we have changed up. So the only thing that remains is that the, the titanium white is the base. And we have phthalo blue and we have quinacridone pink as the, as the pink instead of the Ellerson crimson. And I, I prefer this one, actually. I really like this one, but I feel like Redlin is, is this one. So that's what we're going to do. Depending on how my hands are feeling, I might make another batch and if I don't, then I don't, and we have all of that stuff over there to fix. So, yeah, but we're starting off by making paint and, uh, Oh. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Yeah. So uh, I have a little bit of, I would say like an hour before I'm going to take lunch. I'm going to... So what I want to do here, because now a lot of stuff is organized in these stuff. So I have paint and then the stickers, the brushes, all of that. But uh, I don't remember what this. So we're going to make. So I've just made. Um, you need to. You need to. So I just made a document here, and I'm just going to fill it. And I've made it in. Um, I'm going to have it in PNG. And that will make it easier just to make a cut file later because I'm not. I'm not cutting everything out by hand. I'm, uh, those days are behind me. I have my cutting machine that will have to do it, but Photoshop is so slow. I have no idea what's going on. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm trying to back up here, but, but I think that is for the best to have those. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so here I have quite a few and they will fit, but the rest of them will just have to be in these drawers. And then like the stickers and, that's, and what I really like about these is that they have that little at the back so when you pull it out it sort of sticks so, so the brushes I'm going to organize it later but I feel like it's easier to have all the labels uh, so I'm going to do that and I also want to make labels for the pigments so I might do that depending on if if the computer decides to work nope it doesn't
are starting to wrap up for today. We have made some binders. So I use uh, some binder uh, is pre-made and some binder I make myself. So um, here's a new batch of binder I make myself. Most of these colors will be out in not April, but May. <laughs> so we have Lucia will be coming, Verita Serum, um, Iris. What else? Oh, Glimmer over here. So, I put them over there. Like I have a, like a little bit extra space here. Not that much because I filled it up already. I'm going. I did do these, to, so I wrote out everything, and uh, so I can pop those labels later on um, on the different cabinets. And then with the rest of the sheet, I just um, cut them to the same size. And I'm thinking that if I change things up and I don't want to do like a whole sheet of new labels, I can just like, write on them. But then I have like a lot of them with like the same size anyway. So I have those. I also have all the colors. So even though um, a lot of these colors don't, are not actually in the... In these drawers i still have them if they end up there so i made two of those and then i saved the file um and then the last thing i'm going to do because um the binder is there and i just want to make sure it cools off a little bit before i put it in the freeze uh, in the fridge is the vlog before this one um i am i have edited that one and now I'm just going to make a thumbnail and then I'm going to upload that one I am inside. So um, before it was very much like Monday to Thursday and now I'm trying to feel I'm a bit more free. So whenever I have like enough sort of as a vlog um, and that means I can hopefully make like they sort of overlap a little bit, but it also means that I have I'm not as stressed on Thursdays to edit them, so I don't know. But yeah, so I'm doing that, and um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I feel like they've accomplished quite a lot, which is really good. Okay, I, I, uh, that was it. I don't have any more. Yeah, uh, and nothing is coming to me. Um, yeah. Oh, but next vlog teaser, um, I hope anyway, <laughs> uh, we need to make the, um, the last color of the next set. So yeah, by then I think you will have seen it all. So I suppose I can start by calling it its name and naming all the colors and just like showing you all of that. Also, um, a heads up, the April update, yes, we'll have the unmade colors and May will have the stars, Iris, Linda and Lucia. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really, really great week. And um, yeah, this this intro, I mean, my intro skills are just getting worse and worse. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to, yeah. Editing you, like just put up the end screen.